all right guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to the playthrough of red dead redemption i've been sitting here for ages staring at the screen trying to figure out how to introduce this video but i've i've been struggling uh we've just finished playing red dead redemption 2 love that game absolutely love it, it has a special place in my heart forever so uh if you guys are new to the channel and you want to check that out i'll leave a link on screen so you guys can check that out We've got this hooked up to the Xbox Series X, so hopefully this will make the game <laughs> run as best as it can. Obviously being an older game. So uh, yeah, if you guys are ready, let's get started. Exodus in America. Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm surprised how good it looks. There's John. Oh, we've got automobiles. The world is changing. Oh, that music. Rockstar Games presents. I'm shocked how good this looks. For its time. A Rockstar San Diego production. Black Water Station. Yes, I'm so excited right now. Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. Mm -hmm. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. 
There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. The facial animation for his time is really good as well. I'm really surprised. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Go to the saloon. Wonder how we say hello to people. If we can. Why is... Oh, so does it have an X where you're supposed to go to? Ah, got it. Wonder what that was. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to gag you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Follow, follow Jake to the horses. You have discovered the deadly assassin outfit. It will make your dead eye regenerate well, here, uh, twice as fast. Why? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Mate, Take I... Take flow on the way out of town. No need to kick off a lot of dust. I'm surprised. This... I mean... Come on. The horses actually moved... Rather decently, I know. They are a bit. To spur your horse and move faster, tap A. If you hold A. Oh, I missed what that said then. Hold RB to. Whoa there! Whoa! Well, it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right! Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time! Great place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as most rated back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. I'm surprised. This looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at the sun and the clouds. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. <laughs> Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. <laughs> I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Mate, like I say, these clouds and 
fly and just put any any game to shame these days. Yeah. So it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah. Whoa. Come on. You ain't very talkative, are you? Yeah. <laughs> nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Mm. What a waste of good meat. Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. Oh. Let's go. Where is he coming? Mate, this is... Ooh. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Approach Fort Mercer. I swear, is this running at like 60 FPS? I cannot tell. I'll say again, I'm shocked how good this looks and plays. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. <laughs> Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. Hmm. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Mm. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. Mm. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implore you. I, I implore you <laughs> to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Poor kid. <Jim>. Damn. <clears throat> Yeah. 
They shot John. Government boy. New friends, old problems. I thought she well, was on she was on the train. <coughs> so Excuse me. Seem. So how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid hmm. is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. <laughs> Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Or, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Mm -hmm. What was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Mm -hmm. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Join Bunny, where is she? Let's have a little look around. Oh, he's holding his uh, gunshot wound. Yeah, I'm really shocked at how good this play is. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Hold B to focus on important people, places, and events. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. <laughs> I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Like a heat, like a heat haze there, yeah. When you're close to running a companion, you can hold A to match their speed. I'm surprised how well the horses so ride as well. The general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. This 
ruins for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly <laughs> looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. <laughs> now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions oh, are God. hard to erase. Try to keep up, will you? Mate, I was, it's going the wrong way. Why didn't we go the right way? Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> Are we racing? I don't have time to be waiting around. Come on then. Where are we going? Come on. Yeah. Woo. Come on. I thought it was racing. Oh, she's right there. Whoa there. <laughs> he's, he's a bit hard. Whoa. Come on, boy. We head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Glad to see you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, kid. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't fight. <laughs> A little run. Cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. That her face looks familiar. I don't know why. She, maybe she looks like an actress. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This Whoa. is a dangerous time of night for us. Even at night time. Oh my God, it is good. Moon's a little big. <laughs> Easy now. Right, follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Hmm. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. It's about to go down. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Oh. Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. Woo. Oh. Hold left trigger to your car and weapon. Strong. Nice. Woo. Can we use a dead eye yet? Oh man. That was a poor shot. Use to free aim time. for the help. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. <laughs> we should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. Yeah. 
you can see how well the tech. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. How well the tech has evolved. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Come on. Woo. Slow down. Where's the dead off? Boom! Where's the other one? Come on. Hurry, I think How many more is there? Oh my god. Flip it. Nice. Well, we got rid of the coyote. I just wish we'd saved all the chicken. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Come on. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. You can sleep in your in the bed in your room to save your game. If you sleep, you'll wake up six hours later. You can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. Current Dead Eye level one of three. General stores, doctors, and gunsmiths around the territory allow you to buy new weapons, restock on ammunition, or purchase potent. Some people even deal invaluable information about the surroundings in the form of maps or newspapers. Right, let's save the game. So I don't know how this saves. No flyer, save file, present, save. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Go to B on your map to speak with Bonnie McFarlane. Howdy. Yeah, I'm trying to turn this horse is a bit awkward. Look at the pink sky! Oh my god. Come. I should have just hitched my horse out there, but... Obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Hmm. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. Mm -hmm. 
See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. Yeah. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. Mm -hmm. If it makes you happy. We'll see. We're going to ride right now. She was just going upstairs. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Let's go. What? On the count of three. Three, two, one, go. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't oh, know no, me no, at no. all, Miss McFarland. Oh. That's true. When you galloping, you can short bursts of extra. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Okay. Come on. Whoa. Let's go. My. My, it's hard to control this. I should have kicked her off. I could have done. You're not as bad as I thought you'd be. Oh, she took a shortcut, man. Horse is tired. What is going on? Yeah. Go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. <laughs> mm. 
Right, so Marshall Johnson is available to talk to you in Army of the Hill. Travel to M on your map. Wow, this map is so different to what we're used to. Place waypoint. There we go. Continue southwest along this road to visit Marshall, the Marshall in Armadillo. Let's go. Still loads of wildlife about. I didn't think there'd be as much going on in this game. Oh, oh, help him out. Help him. Got one of them. Oh. He's trying to help him. Did he get shot? Oh, man. I tried to help. I really did. Choose the camp. Oh, my... trying to look at the scenery it doesn't really let you it's hard to ride and look at the scenery at the same time there we go Come on. nice I mean, there is a little bit of popping, but it's nothing too bad. Yeah, the colours are looking very different on my screen compared to the one that's on the recording. Political... That's quick as well. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. You got a visitor. <laughs> you want my name's john marston you wanted to speak to me 
I did? Hmm. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> no, what, you, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? <laughs> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Jonah. Put your gun down. <laughs> you must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. <laughs> and you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here. Friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, <laughs> hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. Mm. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? <laughs> Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers in Armadillo spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. Make your move. Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. Where's my horse? Oh yeah. mate, this is so Yeah. 
What are you doing back there, Marston? If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. That lawn's easy money for easy work. Chola Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a star, Whoa. but there's plenty more where he came from. Yeah, the colours are a lot better on my TV. I think it's... I think it has got HDR. Did he get away? Slow it up now. Ah. Looks like we got company, boys. Oh, man. This hill. Move up to that wagon on Press your right. I'll be entering into cover. Mark, take Get down. Behind the Go, oh. Your clothes are going to be a lot redder in a minute. Get to that crate. I got you covered. Oh, mate, I'm forgetting the controls already. Where's the older? Your... <gasps> I don't know if you can... To vault over low cover... Wee. Nice! One ball. Take cover behind the outhouse. Careful, there may be more of them. I'll back you up to hell's back door, Walton. Oh my good God. Shooting him on the legs or Oh mate Nice <laughs> Walton your killing days are over It'll be trial and the rope for you Hey Not a bad shot Mr. Marston Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I think we're going to end that episode there. I'm present, pleasantly surprised how well this game plays and how, how good it looks on current gen. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.